Hello and a very warm welcome to this special HCPT programme brought to you on the anniversary of the 16th apparition of Our Lady to Bernadette. The day that Our Lady said the words, I am the Immaculate Conception. Our Lady asked Bernadette to return, to come back to the grotto time and again. And she is opening her arms and asking us to return as well. So, this year, HCPT will return to Lourdes after two long years away. In those two years, we've been blessed to be able to reach out to you and share the joy of our work through our virtual pilgrimages and all of our online materials. But now we have the amazing opportunity to offer a real Easter pilgrimage to those joining us in Lourdes and also to our supporters online all around the world. Now this year's Easter pilgrimage might be a bit smaller and it might be a bit shorter. Easter Monday the 18th to Friday the 22nd of April but it will still be full of joy and song and laughter and all the bright colours that are associated with an HCPT pilgrimage. It will also have many special events slightly different to what our normal week would be so let's just run through a few of those. So on the Monday, after people have arrived and settled in, there will be the opportunity to go to Mass in the afternoon. And then in the evening, a very special time um, where we're, we're allowed to celebrate a Mass at the Grotto at half past ten local time. All the things that we're doing over this week, we're going to be posting online and we'll be showing you how to join and how to be there if you're at home. On the Tuesday, we will be welcoming everybody formally. And so in the morning, there'll be the opening liturgy for our, our week, um, followed in the afternoon by some catechesis with the story of Bernadette. Um, in the evening, that would be our normal Tuesday evening, we will be helping to lead the music and the rosary at the torchlight procession. This is where things change a little bit. On Wednesday, is going to be the pilgrimage outing day. So you can choose to go to the seaside or to the mountains. And again, it's gonna be a wonderful experience for all those who haven't been able to do these things for such a long time. Thursday will be our normal Trust Mass day. Trust Mass in the morning and then in the afternoon, the Blessed Sacrament procession, where once again, we will be working with the shrine and their musicians to help deliver, deliver that most prayerful and special moment of the week. There will be our daily night prayers on the stairs where you'll be able to tune in and join us and even send your prayer requests as well and we'll be able to have a moment of interaction. There's going to be something new this year called the Fun Zone where people can come and do face painting or help us create a wonderful image for the, uh, for the Trust Mass or to sing songs or to play some games or just as a meeting place. So watch this space for more information about that. As well as all those formal HCPT events, of course, there will be numerous visits to cafes, rides on the Petit Tran, excursions, fun on the prairie, party nights, as well as quiet and moving moments where groups can go and take themselves off and just have a bit of peace wherever they find a moment or a spot in, in Lourdes to do so. Now we want to share as much of this with you as we can online, but we also want you to be involved from wherever you are. So we're gonna invite you to sign up for our daily digest emails featuring all the highlights from each day, uh, each day we're in Lourdes. Um, if you'd like to send us or deliver or ask us to deliver a prayer petition to the Grotto, you're going to be able to send those via our website and details for that will be published very, very soon as well. If you'd like to name someone special um, in the HCPT family to be added to our um, annual memorial candle, uh, which will be lit at the end of the pilgrimage, you can also do that through another page on our website as well. Why not send us a short video of you at home? Um, you might light your own candle, you might have a statue of Our Lady, you might do a little procession around your garden or your house. Send that to us uh, with a message of thanks or message of encouragement and we'll try and share that on the morning of the Trust Mass to all those who are gathered in the Church of St Bernadette in Lourdes. 
So wherever you are this year, this is your pilgrimage and we look forward to sharing this with you. Just remains for me to say today, um, thank you to everybody that's helped us prepare and get ready. We've still got a lot of work to do. Um, we've got a couple of weeks left and everything is beginning to fall into place. So all the flights and all the transport, all the hotels and all the different activities that we're going to be doing while we're in Lourdes. It will be different this year, but it's going to be a great celebration. It's going to be a great step on the road to recovery. And we can't wait to share that with you as soon as we can. So goodbye from me and we'll see you all soon online or in Lourdes. Goodbye.